Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about descriptive verbs. Now, what is a descriptive verb? A descriptive verb is any verb that's not an action verb. Now, we learned a lot of action verbs, for example, to do, or to love, or to study, or to go, or to make. Well, descriptive verbs are verbs that are actually describing things, not talking about an action. So here are a few examples of action verbs we've seen. Again, hada, to do. Kada to go, mokta to eat, chuahada to like, kongbuhada to study. And if an action verb is affecting something, you can mark that thing it's affecting using the object marker. A descriptive verb, however, is a verb that's used to describe something. And we have learned a few descriptive verbs already. Ida to be, for example, is a descriptive verb. To be isn't doing any sort of action. It simply is describing what something is. We've also been exposed to a few other descriptive verbs too. For example, papuda to be busy, ita to exist, mepta to be spicy, puropta to be jealous, and a few others. If you're comfortable with language terminology, you might be tempted to call these adjectives, but the way they work is different than adjectives in English. In Korean, you should note that both action verbs and descriptive verbs are still verbs. They end with ta, and they can both be conjugated. So I wanted to introduce you to some very common and important descriptive verbs. And the first one is chota, to be good. For example, e yoanen, chwayo. This movie is good, or as for this movie, it's good. Ku idea nen, chwayo. That idea is good, or as for that idea, it's good. Chuahada, however, is an action verb and means to like something because it's an action, it's doing something. For example, chonen kimchi를 좋아해요. I like kimchi. Or, 저는 한국어를 많이 좋아해요. I like the Korean language 많이, a lot. Next, we have the descriptive verb mashi itta, which means to be delicious or to taste good. This is a combination of the noun mat, meaning flavor, and itta, the descriptive verb meaning to exist. And it means flavor exists or there is flavor. The e here is what's known as the subject marker, which we'll learn about in another lesson. Here, it's written in parentheses because it's actually optional. So here's an example. Kimchi nun, as for kimchi, mashi soyo. Kimchi is delicious or kimchi tastes good. Literally, as for kimchi, there exists flavor. There is flavor. Next, we have the descriptive verb, temi ga itta, meaning to be entertaining or to be fun. This comes from a combination of the word temi, meaning enjoyment or fun, and our verb itta, to exist and it literally means enjoyment or fun exists. The ka here is also the subject marker. Again, it's written in parentheses because it is optional. So here's an example of a sentence. E nun. As for this movie, 재미있어요. This movie is entertaining or this movie is fun. Or more literally just, as for this movie, enjoyment or fun exists. Now, there are tons of descriptive verbs in Korean that we're not going to be learning in this lesson, but here are just a few more. 쉽다, to be easy, and 어렵다, to be difficult. For example, 한국어는 쉬워요. The Korean language is easy. Or, 영어는 어려워요. English is difficult. Next, we have 행복하다 to be happy, and 슬프다, to be sad. For example, 저는 아주 행복해요. I am very happy. Or, 저는 조금 슬퍼요. I am a little sad. Now let's do a short conversation practice between Suhyun and Hijin. First, Suhyun says, 이 과자는 정말 맛있어요. These chips or these crackers are 정말 really delicious. 
To which Heejin replies, 저도 그 과자를 빨리 먹고 싶어요. I also want to eat quickly. 빨리. I also want to quickly eat those crackers or those chips. Next, Suyeon says, 오늘은 조금 추워요. As for today, it's a little bit cold. 춥다, to be cold. To which Heejin replies, 저는 조금 더워요. As for me, I am a little bit hot, as in the weather is hot, or I feel hot. 이 과자는 정말 맛있어요. 저도 그 과자를 빨리 먹고 싶어요. 오늘은 조금 추워요. 저는 조금 더워요. Some notes before we go. So far, we've only learned how to say sentences kind of like this. 저는 영화를 보고 싶어요. I want to see a movie. Or 이 영화는 재밌어요. This movie is entertaining. Descriptive verbs can also be conjugated a bit differently and then used directly before nouns, just like an adjective in English. So if we learn that different conjugation, we could make this kind of sentence. I want to see an entertaining movie. And we'll learn how to do that in a future lesson. So we've just gotten an introduction into descriptive verbs and how they work. Make sure to practice this lesson before going on to the next one, and I'll see you guys again next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.